Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavor. It's time for my giant life. Okay, what we're going to do today, you guys have seen this video um, by now, and this is my new keeper for my giant life. And we are on to September. And let's see, what is September? I love this little box. Isn't that cool? I need to do some doodling on here, but not today. All right, so my giant life. The prompt this week, as soon as I find my little block here, the prompt for this month is giant family or not. Draw your family. It doesn't have to look realistic. They could look whimsical. And don't forget your pets. They're your family too. All right, so I have an idea for this, and I thought, yeah, hmm, let's see what we can do. Okay, all I'm doing is I'm taking a little um, sandblaster. It's a medium grit, 80 medium grit, and I'm just taking off this shiny layer on top because I want whatever I put on here to stick. And at this point, I'm not sure what I'm putting on here. I think we're going to start out with some gesso, though. So I want to try something a little bit different today. We're going to work with some black gesso. So the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to cover this in black gesso. All right, so we're talking about family. Let's just, let me cover this up. We're going to, um, once I cover it and it get it dry really well, then we're going to start talking about family. Now, I am not going to draw my family. That's not going to happen. I'm not a... that No. no. <laughs> that would be a disaster. <laughs> Tell you what, I wouldn't let my family see it. <laughs> but that's all right. So, um, I'm just going to do another little take on this. And my family is going to consist of my family tree, but it's going to be done in a different way. I know I just got black on the back of that. I don't care. Because like I said, right now we're just putting down a good coat of gesso. I want the whole card black. It's going to be fun. So you guys are actually going to learn a little bit about my family today. It's kind of crazy, huh? It's crazy. All right, let's get this dried up, and we will be right back, and we're going to start working on the family. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, so here we go. This is what we're going to do. Got a bunch of different colors out here, and my family is actually going to be done in a tree. And normally you do like a family tree down. I'm not, because my family tree is growing, right? So I'm going to do my tree going up. So this is my idea. And then what I want it to do is I want it to branch off in the different directions. I'm thinking, 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 Cindy. Think, 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 think. We can make this into a tree. I just messed it up, but that's all right. This is all going to be filled in, so we're not going to see any of this anyways. Which is all good. Because it's just continuing to grow. Right? So I have a funky looking tree here. <laughs> but you know what? It's all good. My tree is just going to be a little bitty tree. It's going to be doing its thing. Alright, now I want to keep my tree coming up here. I don't know what this is. We'll get rid of that. We'll just color that all in, but that's okay. All right. Can you tell I'm not a tree drawer? It's all good. I don't care. Okay, so our tree starts down here at the bottom, right? And this part of my tree, I'm using, by the way, I'm using Neocolor 2s. Um, it's one of those um, forgotten art supplies that I have not been using and I really want to use more. Okay, so the tree starts down here. Now I need a little thing of water. Ooh, my water's blue. Hopefully it'll work. 
and I'm just going to very lightly Okay, so my tree starts with my hubs and I, um, because that is my family. I'm not going to be talking literally about my family family, you know, like sisters, brothers, that kind of thing. That's not happening. So we're going to just put in my little trunk here. And I'm not, you know, I, I want it to be unique because we're all unique, right? And all of our families are unique. And everybody has, you know, uniqueness in their family, so it's okay. It's all good. No two families are the same, and all families have, you know, things you're like, oh my God, you're never going to believe this, but it's all good. And I'm just kind of loosely wetting this. That's all right. No big deal. I just want to make it messy. I am embracing the, 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 the messy side of my art <laughs> why not you know who says my tree has to look like a you know the perfect um maple sitting outside no it doesn't so we're just playing my phone's pinging away so let's see all right so we're gonna put my family it's gonna be me and jeff and then we're going to start branching off into ways. Now, what we have is I want a darker. So between the two of us, we have, I'll put one here. Now I'm working this out, guys, as I'm doing it. So don't be surprised if, you know, it's like, what the heck is that? But we're going to make it fun. These are in no particular order. Okay, oops, I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. So we have these boxes. Then we have uh, set that set that salmon. You know what? I don't like these needle color twos. They don't have a really good pink, like a hot pink. And I want red, I want hot pink. All right, we'll do it yellow instead or orange. Let's do yellow. All right, so now we're gonna leave this be. This one has, and we're gonna do this. And all these are gonna make sense here in a minute, right? All right, and then I can do some writing over in here. All right, so these are gonna be, Jeff and I, between the two of us, we have three sons. Okay, here's one. Here's another. Here's a third. Okay, and then with those sons, we have, this was the first granddaughter. I don't like that yellow. We're going to fix that. This is the second granddaughter. And this one will be here at the end of September. All right, let me dry these up. I'll be right back. Remember how I told you guys, and I've said this many times before, but like every time I pick up a supply, I learn something. Okay, I learned I don't like Neo Color 2s on black gesso. So we are changing this up a little bit. I'm going to be using some Dina Wakely paints. And this one is the Sky. So I'm going to change this up a little bit. We're going to make these three boys here and I think we'll be able to see them better this way like I said this is not going to be perfect I'm playing I'm having fun that's all that matters right so
like I said, this is just, I love doing this stuff. It's so much fun. You just, you know, I, I look at these prompts ahead of time, and then I just kind of let them fester <laughs> in my head. And then I'll wake up, I'll be like, oh, I know what I want to do for that. So actually, I thought of this last night before I went to bed. I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do. You know, if, if I try to do it right on the spot, sometimes, you know, especially with a theme, it doesn't work for me. Um... I prefer, honestly, when I'm when I'm doing like in my art journaling, I just love to play and just let it come as it comes, and I don't have to worry about. Um, that's why I just I try to stay away from prompts. You know, not really as much, you know what I'm saying. I think you guys know what I'm saying. Prompts sometimes can be stifling to me. And then sometimes they're like, oh, that sounds like a good idea. So, all right. So, I don't know why I did this in yellow. Probably because they didn't have a pretty pink in the Neo colors. I know Dina has pretty pinks, but that's okay. We're going to continue with yellow. So here's my girl, three grand babies. And sorry if I'm singing, I got my headset on. You don't want to hear me sing, trust me. Um, let's see, what color are we gonna do, Jeff and I? I got all my Dina Wakely paints out over here, that's why I'm let's go with an orange. That's his favorite color. Let's do him and I in orange. Why not? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry these up and probably throw another coat on these because I did the black gesso, which is fine. And then we'll be right back and we'll start filling in this family tree and we'll start talking about these. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so what we did is um, I added another box down here because I wanted to put the year that my family was established, you know. Um... And then, like I said, I've got the three boys and the three granddaughters. So, what we're going to do now is I've got this. Um, this is Dina Wakely Penny. It's a heavy body acrylic. And, you know, I haven't used it that much, and I want to use it. So, the first thing I'm going to do, though, shake it up a little bit, make sure I don't have anything. All right, so let's talk about my family tree while I play. Okay, does that sound like a good idea? My family tree was established in 1990 meaning Jeff and I um, getting together. Um, was that, you know, when all the kids? No. Um, I actually had two boys, and he had a boy. So it was, you know, we, we ended up with a, you know, three three sons. And let me tell you, it I, I am so glad I had sons, and um, <laughs> I always wanted a daughter, but things just didn't happen that way. So it was so funny because I told my boys over and over again when they were younger, I said, you need to have a good life and I want you to give me a granddaughter. And it was so funny. Um, the son that I least expected to do it first, which was my youngest son, called me up one day and he says, Mom, I'm pregnant. I'm like, what? I hung up on him. <laughs> So, um, after it got to sink in a little bit, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I'm actually getting a grandbaby. And uh, that was almost eight years ago. Um, she will be eight in, when's she going to be eight? She's going to be eight in November. And she is just, she is grandma's girl through and through. I absolutely love her to death. 
And then um, my oldest son still has not had any children, as you can see. Um, I expect some from him eventually, I hope. And then Jeff's son actually had a little girl two years ago, which is Miss Riley. And Miss Riley is I'm sorry, excuse me, back up, Miss Nora. See, I'm getting them mixed up already, and I only have three of them, you know? Um, anyways, um, like I said, Jeff's son, he had Miss Nora, which was two years ago. She just turned two, and in September, we have Miss Riley coming. So I'm really excited about that. I want to find a pen. Where are my black pens? You know, I've got to stop moving stuff around this studio. Do you guys do that? We do. I do. All right, so we have 1990, which is when my husband and I got together. And this is still not very dry. We have Jeff. And I'm using a Sharpie on this. And Cindy. All right, I'm gonna wait for some of this to dry. I have Lee J, which he goes by J. We call him J. Then we have Tony, and we have Kyle. So, oh, I like this. You know, I t this has got one of her tops on it. Um, the tips and I just put it right on the bottom. I like this. I love the copper So that's really cool, but you know what I want to do. I want to take some of that copper paint I just want to kind of I Love it, but I don't want all of it like that Look at that. That's so cool. Look You see that that's really neat. Actually, let me bring you guys in a little bit. I notice sometimes I tend to get out of frame, so I'm trying not to do that anymore. But sometimes it just happens. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, we have baby girls in the family. And it was so funny because my youngest son, after I hung up on him and then I called him back, I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah. And um, come to find out, he was having a little girl. And... After um, Haley was born, he sent me a note, uh, him and his, his girlfriend at the time. Um, they're no longer together, but um, I still have Munch in my life, which is fantastic. I love that girl to death. Um, he sent me a note, and in it he said, Mom, I want to thank you and Jeff for everything you've done for us. You know, I did what you always told me to do. I gave you a little girl. And it just, that meant so much to me because... You know, I've always wanted a daughter, but then again, <laughs> after hearing some of the nightmares of having daughters, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> Boys are so much easier to raise. <laughs> um, but, you know, they, they don't have all those moods and all of that, those issues that some of the teenage girls have, you know. Uh, so, so anyways, Haley, or Munch, as I call her, because the girl is never, never, never full. So that girl wants to eat 24-7, and I don't know. I just I started calling her Munchy years and years and years ago, and that's just a nickname that stuck. But um, she is Grandma's girl through and through. Her and I, we have a lot of fun together. You guys have seen some videos from her. Um, she loves to come with Grandma and play in the art room. She loves to wrestle with Poppy. She just, she loves, you know, her and I just, we have a really great time, a really great connection. And she's grandma's girl. And that's just, I think that's the way it's always going to be. So um, now Miss Nora, which is my little two-year-old granddaughter. Oh my gosh, she is such a doll baby. And it was so funny. They were here not too long ago. And um, they were getting ready to say goodbye. And so I was laying on the couch at that point because, man, they wear me out. And uh, she comes up to me. She comes running up. Come! She calls me Nana. Nana, tiss! So I gave her a big kiss and a hug, and I said, I love you. I'll see you soon. She goes running out. Not even a minute later, here she comes back in. Nana, tiss. <laughs> so I had to get another kiss. And she did that like six times, and I told her mommy, Chris, I said, I don't think she wants to go home. Chris is like, I don't think she does either. <laughs> 
but she's just such a sweetheart. Now she's got a little baby sister coming, and I'm just really, really excited. Um, you know, it's just, there's, grandbabies are so much fun. If you don't have a grandbaby yet, you are just going to be so blown away. You love your children, but your grandchildren, there's something so totally different about it. It's just amazing. So give me a second. I want to dry this up really good so I can do more to it. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got out my Posca, and I don't really want to write on this as far as, um, because I don't believe the paint is all dry. So I'm just going to kind of outline these with little dots, because that's what we do. So anyways, I'm really excited. Little Miss Riley is due at the end of September, and I can't wait to see her. And um, it's just so exciting. You know, they're so much fun, and they just, you know, every time I see them, it just, it makes my heart smile, and it makes you realize how much you miss having, you know, your little ones around. It just seems that they're so innocent at such a young age, and then they go to school, and it just all gets blown away. But um, they're so much fun, and they just, they, they're so they're in awe of life and and the wonderment and the innocence and the curiosity and it's just amazing and you know art is one of the ways that we do we really lose a lot of that look how many people you know play like a fourth grader draw like a year or a four-year-old you know paint like a you know a kindergartner well we lose all that and you know it's kind of sad because it's just it's a shame it's an innocence, it's a freedom that as adults you lose. And I try to instill that freedom into Haley every time. I'm like, you know, and it's so cool because she'll sit and she'll say, you know, I said, or hey, I got to draw a dragon. Oh, Grandma, I can draw a dragon. And she just boom, 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 and there's the dragon, you know. And it's just, they don't think. They don't, they don't stop and have that inner critic and say, oh, you know, that doesn't look like a dragon. That, you know, that's not how the head is shaped. They just, they go to town and they have a blast with it. And I just love it. And like I said, as much as I can teach my little ones, um, not really just teach them, but allow them to be creative and just to, you know, stay true to themselves. I'm going to promote that as, as much as I can because I feel it's worth it. And I feel that um, they should. So... I like my little tree here. I didn't put my fur babies in there. Um, yeah, I have two kitty cats. I don't know. Maybe they'll end up down here in white. We'll see. Um, not sure yet. But now I want to add some more colors to my tree. Let me see if these are dry enough to write on yet. Because we have Kyle. And he has Haley. We have... Tony, I'm trying not to get my hand on here. And he has Nora and Riley. And we have Jay. All right, there's my family tree. Now, I want to put some pretty colors on this. Let's get some fuchsia. Why not? Ooh, we're just going to. Put some pretty colors there. Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we got little girls. Oh, yeah. Ink. I got stuff all over here. What's this? So, you know, if you don't have any grandkids, you know, I really wish, you know, I hope you can experience that someday because they are just... Like I said, just amazing. Let's use some of this pink. Let's wipe off the finger. No pink in there. Come on, pink. I know you're in there. So I can't wait to see what your um, family looks like this month. If you're following along with this My Giant Life, um, it's just a lot of fun. I'm having fun doing this with Anne this year, and it's great because, you know, you, you just, you're looking at yourself, and you're looking at, you know, things about you, and it's just, it's cool. It's kind of like the uh, Explorations of Me program that I do as well. 
you know, it, it's nice to sit down and take a look at yourself for a change and, and you know, um, just you learn a lot about yourself by doing stuff like this. Okay, there's the pink. Let's put some, I'm just going to make pretty, pretty colors. Let's throw some of this lapis in here. Why not? Do, do, do. And this is, you know, this is what I want to get more into. It's just playing, just having fun with the supplies and just, you know, enjoying. Why not? <laughs> it's funny because I was actually talking to Riley's mommy this morning and I told her, I said, you know, I asked her how the girls were doing. She's like, well, you know, Nora's been awake since 6 and Riley shortly after. And I told her, I said, just cherish those moments. They go so fast and you can't get them back. So, let's see. Pink we did. Light. Let's do a sky blue. Oh, we got blue on there. Let's see what else we've got here. I got all these in a basket and I need to get them all out. Let's do some purple. Gotta do purple. Can't not do purple. Right? Huh, I hear a helicopter. It's kind of strange. We usually don't have helicopters around here. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. I have my window open. My room is actually kind of chilly. This room is well insulated, so when it gets really warm outside, it's kind of chilly in here. So I opened up my window to let some heat in. Do, do, do. So much fun. Isn't that pretty? That's a pretty family tree. I like it. I like it. My family tree. And yeah, I'm getting paint all over this, but I don't care. Doo -doo. I'm just going to wipe it all off. Now I'm going to have purple white. That's all right. There we go. We're back to white. All right. So let's see. What else am I going to do with this? Give me a minute, and I'll be right back. All right, so I did just decide to draw two little kitties down here. So I do have two little kitties. So I'm just gonna kinda white them. Do, do, do. Just white my kitties here. We have two kitties. We have Buster, who is actually black boy. Oops. And then we have Abby. Okay, this is Buster. And Abby is my torty. I'm just doing a back view of them just so that they're sitting here in our family. Oops. Yeah, they got funky ears. I don't mind. Remember what we talked about drawing like a four-year-old? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> they don't have to look realistic, do they? No. Like I said, Abby is a torty. Um, if you don't know what that means, it's basically, it's like a calico only all mixed up. Like somebody put her in a paint can and shook her. And uh, they're both good, good kitties. We're very lucky. I'm hoping, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'd like to get them so they'll travel with us in our RV. But I don't know if that's going to work because they're both quite older kitties. And we'll see. Right, so now I just want to kind of do 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 get rid of some of the brush marks and put different ones in. <laughs> but yeah, my kitty cats, and they they watch over. They love the boys. They're you know um, they used to be really scared of the grandkids, especially um, my torty. She was terrified. But believe it or not, after seven years of Haley being here about every other day, and I apologize for my phone, I gotta shut it off. Um, there we go. Um, it, it took all, almost seven years for her to actually now come out when the grandbabies are around, including Haley. And she's actually not doing not too bad with Nora either. So, all right. And what else am I gonna put on here, guys? I could put flowers and do dads. I don't want to do that. Um, see if there's another color in here I haven't used yet. Oh, a little bit of green. Let's throw a little bit of this neon green in here. 
I like, I like. Yeah. So you guys got to see my family tree. What do you think? I think it's fun. I've enjoyed it. And thank you for the prompt. It's fabulous. Um, I just, I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And why not, you know? Life's too short. You know, life's too short to be unhappy, whether it's, you know, in a relationship or at a job or, you know, it's just way too short. So enjoy every minute you have, especially with your family. All right, I think that is going to be the end of my family tree. Isn't that pretty cool? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out in the description box below um, for and She's got other artists. We've got Eileen doing this with us. And sometimes, you know, other people throughout the month will do this with us. So definitely check in the description box and see what Anne and Eileen have come up with. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll definitely answer them for you. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.